Hello everyone and welcome back to my new Throne Ultra. We are jumping in once again. I'm gonna go as a rebel this time around. And I don't really have a lot to go with here. Let's go with the bullet shotgun maybe. See if that's any good for us. Ooh, we have a few skins here to go with. I'm definitely gonna go with the purple one. Purple is my favourite colour. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with the bullets on. I do want to use random more often, but I want to have more unlocked before I do random. So I think starting with this is good. Bullet shotgun. Not a bad one to go with. Um, unfortunately, I don't think bullet shotgun benefits from um, shotgun shoulders. We did shotgun shoulders run last time, and we actually got tails end in there as well, which I really, really liked. Uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. It was a really, really cool combination of stuff to have. Cool. Managed to get all that done. And we'll go straight through here. Uh, so there's, there's shotgun shoulders. See, I don't believe that'll do anything for us. Uh, but to be honest, it's kind of, of the things here, it's kind of the best one. But I'm going to take Rhino Skin. Um, what we got here? The Star Grenade Launcher. That's new to me, so I'm going to give that a go. Ooh, interesting. So it fires like a little star pattern of explosives. And the actual explosive itself. Ah, okay, so that's the main, that's the main draw of this. The explosion's a little bigger, which is nice. But the main draw of it is that the, okay, that was a bad... Bad player there. Um, the main draw of this, of that uh, weapon, seems to be that the actual grenade will do some damage on contact, which is really nice. And just speaking of that, like, one thing I know that obviously the developer has plenty to do and plenty to work on, so I don't want to add more onto the work. But when uh, when they get to the point where they've, they're happy with the amount of weapons in the mod, which honestly, I'm not sure if they ever will be, but... If that ever does get to a point where they're happy with the amount of uh, weapons that, in, that are in the mod, then I would like to see the um, the amount of golden weapons. Basically, I think any weapon that is classed anything up to tier 2, so it, it, t every tier 0, every tier 1, every tier 2, should be able to be a golden weapon. Now, that's probably a bit too many, but would you rather not have a bit too many? I think anything after tier 2 is a bit too strong to start with, but I think that could be a lot of fun. Just more variety for golden weapons, and it just adds a hell of a lot more for people to work towards and unlock. Um, gonna go with Flexible Elbows here. You guys know the score of Flexible Elbows. It's one of my favourite mutations as of late. I just It's one that I severely underrated for a while, and now I probably overrate it a little bit, but I don't know. Extra extra health and ammo and extra damage over a wide range and radius. It's It gives you a lot to work with, and it means that if you're low on ammo, you're going to get more ammo. But also, if you're low on ammo, um, you can deal damage without having ammo. So th there's, there's multiple reasons to use this. Also, this gun, this gun could be pretty darn amazing if we threw in a... I'm going to take the staff here. Uh, this, this could be pretty darn amazing if we threw in some accuracy on this, because it's doing a pretty good job right now. Although, I will take this one second. We are back. Let's continue on. We're doing pretty well so far. Um, I don't really remember where I was with this episode. I also remember now that I'm playing uh, Rebel, so I should try and actually use Rebel a little bit more. But honestly, I don't really use Rebel's ability all that much. As, as you guys probably have already established, I don't use anyone's ability very much. Um, I don't know what it is. I just find the abilities to be a bit like... I don't know, like, certain ones just don't really impact that much. I was saying I wanted Eagle Eyes with this, so let's give it a go. I think it could be pretty nice, and it clearly is pretty nice. Oh my god, that's a lot of... That's a lot of birds. That's too much crow for me. Um, Go with that, maybe. Charge this bad boy up. I think we're all good in that. There you go. Dude, honestly, this thing with eagle eyes is, is pretty top tier. I imagine if we get, um, if we get, what's it called in there? Scarier face. It could be very, very good. By the way, I've worked out a little bit of a cheat, and it might get nerfed slash patched if I mention this, but basically, if you, uh, if you leave a level, it, like, kills everything on the stage and gives you the rads, right? Um, if you were able to leave early, which is kind of nice. I like that. It's not something that needs changing. But, but, in that stage specifically, if you go through and you shoot and you shoot and activate the Guardians and then go straight through the portal, it kills them both and gives you the rats. So you, you, there's literally no risk. You just shoot them from a distance, activate the portal, and get yourself a bunch of free rats. Quite nice. 
before I was fighting them and killing them. There ain't no need to do that. How much damage are we doing in a single burst with these guys? Like, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. Impact Wrists is helping on this level quite a bit, actually. Right, we're through. Give me all that. See, Scary Affairs, this is what I was just saying, could be really, really good with this setup. I do not like the speed at which things are coming at me right now. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to go badly just based on the walk speed of those guys. I was like, hmm... Extra feet feels like a necessity right now. I'm in a bad position. Sometimes you just get a bad spawn, though. You can't really do much about it. But it is what it is. We'll go through here. Uh, I'm going to grab Scary Affairs again, because I was just talking about how good that should be with this thing. And it does seem to be pretty good. I quite like it. I'm going to carry on down this regular way here. But yeah, now, once I've been to the second throne vault, I'll try and show you what I'm talking about. Give you a better example. I'll grab this real quick. And, yeah, because we're not going to get any of the Guardians here at the minute, look. Oh, no, we are. Okay, so shoot one of them. Don't even kill him. Dip. All the rads are mine. <laughs> it's just a nice little cheat code you can do. I quite like it. It might get changed now that I've mentioned it, because it is a bit... It is a little bit cheaty. Not, I won't say cheaty, but it's a little bit unintended, I think, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think it's meant to work that way. I don't think the developer intended that to be plausible. Right, let's take out the annoying enemies first. We'll deal with you in a second. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Lovely stuff. And we'll grab that as well. One of the things I love about inverted areas is we're getting all the um, weapon mods early on is really nice. The inverted crown will never not be my favourite thing to take at the start of a run. Whenever I'm going for, like, fast level ups to ultra, I'll take the one that, like, takes away your secondary weapon. That one, um, that gives you all the extra chests. I quite enjoy that one, but that one's only re really when I'm going for secret ultras. Which, by the way, I do need to go back through my list and see what I do and don't have. Because there are some secret ultras I don't have unlocked that, um, I can go back and unlock. Um... Impact wrists again, I think. Honestly, I'm taking a lot of the similar mutations at the moment, but I don't know. I've just, I think I've fallen into a pretty good rhythm of knowing what I want. I do change it up on occasion. It's not like I always take the same stuff, but I think I've got a pretty good rhythm of knowing what makes for a decent run now. And I think, honestly, after doing that weekly that I did, where I got to, like, loop three or four or whatever it is, I've just gotten a decent amount better at understanding what I need to do well and, and playing a little safer. That's not to say that I don't still make stupid mistakes and play poorly. I still do, plenty of times. You've seen many an episode that is cut very short by my poor play. But I think the, the opportunity, the potential for me to get further is there now, whereas before it wasn't as much. And I, there's, there's, there's a lot more things I can take to sort of boost my chances. At the minute, I'm doing a pretty a pretty um, bad run. I'm, I'm doing a run that's not very safe because I'm just going for... Um, oh, my God. I'm just going for full damage, which I just think is fun. It makes some weapons really good. Did I not get any of the um, rads for that? I don't think I did. I must have done, surely. But it didn't feel like I did. I just like taking weapons like this, like a level, a low level weapon, a starting golden weapon, and just making it into a god gun that you can carry you through like the entirety of the first loop. We got ourselves the turtle shotgun, which we've actually figured out, ascertained, is really, really, really good. And I'd like to see more turtle weapons, more delayed fire weapons. I think they're quite fun. Right, throne but. Ally reload speed's kind of good. I'm going to take Absorbing Pause. I don't take that very often. What does this do again? Ooh, that's new. I like that. I haven't seen that before. Just really, really slow speed, but that homing makes it pretty good. I like that as a lot as a weapon. That's a really, really cool weapon. We've got another plop gun here. Is this a high level plop gun? Plop shotgun. I don't think we've seen a plop shotgun yet. I might take the plop shotgun, you know. See if I can make that work.
Oh, dude, I wanted that frozen there. I could have got triple frozen. Little, little worried about this boss fight, to be honest. Missing out some rads there, but it's fine. We're doing good damage to him, to be fair. I think once he pops his head up again, we should be able to get him. Yeah, nice and easy. Up to level 7 as well. Um, grow strong spirit here, I think. But yeah, I just love the way that we're setting mutations and, like, decent play. You can get quite far with um, a pretty low-tier weapon. Um, let's go for shotgun on this bad boy in case we keep it. Do you know what would be nice? Maybe, I don't know where they'd appear for it to be, like, balanced, but it'd be nice if there was some sort of station that could appear, maybe in the crown vault, maybe on a specific stage, where you could transfer your weapon mods from one weapon to another. It would be really nice, because sometimes I have a weapon that's, like, a lot lower tier, but tripled up with some really good weapon mods, and I don't want to get rid of it, because I don't want to lose those weapon mods. Even though I can just get new ones back fairly easily, I want those ones, and it's kind of sad to see them go. So it'd be interesting to have a way to, um... To be able to transfer from one gun to another. And not lose them. To be fair, I feel like the weapon mods could be expanded on a little bit. They're, they're in a really good spot right now, so they don't need to be, but there's always room to add more. Um, add, add different ones and stuff. Like, it'd be, it'd be cool to see a, a, a weapon mod that has, like, a small chance to, like, charm an enemy, bring it onto your side. Or, like, just the one that's, like, a flat damage increase, or kind of, like, scarier face, where it's just, like, a flat amount of damage added onto each bullet. So it'll be good with some guns and not good with others. It's Some, some different stuff like that would be kind of interesting to see. A power craving here, why not? Yeah. Hello, big bat. I wasn't quite expecting you yet. Good, good. Plenty of ammo back there. I haven't been through here in a little while, so I'll do this. Why not? And I'm not that attached to my mutations, really. Scary face is a little annoying to lose. Strong spirit. Impact risks doesn't really matter on this stage, so that's good. Really want to be coming down here with, um... What's it called? Ooh, I'll take that, I think. You really want to be coming down here with, um... The one that puts enemies to sleep. That one's really, really nice down here. But this is clearly doing a mighty fine job as is. That was really stupid damage. I literally saw that coming and walked right into it. it does seem like the uh, the level design has changed on these areas though. Normally it was pretty static. It always looked very similar. This is quite different. So I haven't been in here in a little while though, so. We can deal with this. Again, just kind of walked right into that. Needs to be a little more cautious about that attack. Kind of just letting it happen to me. I don't find any of the enemies in here too bad anymore, though. Right, this should wreck this boss, I hope. Dude, the herming on this is wild. Double bouncer laser. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got to take that, though. That'll do an even better job. Although, lasers are a little scary against the mimic boss. I'll be honest. This guy's got a lot more health now as well, so... I don't know how well I'll do against him, but I'll give it my best shot. 
But this is a very, very good weapon for high damage, so I'm not that worried here. I did not know you teleported now. That's that's a, that's a new move you got going on there. There you go, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, that's what you've got going on, which is pretty avoidable, actually. Yeah, not too bad at all. What, do we Have we unlocked Regal Vision for this guy yet? Pressing F to grab a nearby ally and throw... Uh, okay, I think we've seen that before, yeah. Pearl's End doesn't really do much for us right now, unfortunately. Go with Rage. I haven't taken Rage in a while. So we can do that and then just pick that bad boy up and yeet them. Don't know what's really the benefit to throwing them. I think it's just a bit funny. It's just a bit of a prank sort of thing. This is doing mighty well, though. I honestly think energy weapons are my favorite ammo type of weapon. They just... There's so many weird ones out there. And so many interesting ones. And then basic ones like this that kind of, at face value, don't seem that interesting, but are really fun. Like, for example, here. I'd love to take the Jaw Crusher right now. And I want to. But it's got that's got good weapon mods on it. And I want to keep those weapon mods. I'm going to take the Jaw Crusher, though. I'm not going to get too attached to the weapon mods. We'll find more. Right. Be with Bouncer, we can kill both of them in one go. The enemy's spawning now. Is that normal? Is that a new thing? Either way, we are entering the loop. Very nice. I always like it when we get loop early on in a run. Right, so 60 max HP, you can't heal. Every loop, reset your HP to full. Allies cost ammo, resistant to venom damage. That's kind of nice. Start level with two allies, that's kind of nice. Spawn two allies instead of one. Uh, allies cast lasers towards each other, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to go with the 60 HP though. I just think that's an interesting idea. If you can make it work, it seems really good. We've already taken damage, that's not a great sign. We're healing once every loop. Kind of cool. I do wonder what the average amount of damage you take on a loop is, though. I feel like having more iframes from, like, Euphoria would be really nice. Grab that. Grab a few more golden weapons, and we'll head on through. This weapon's going to be really good for uh, bashing through a lot of enemies quickly. I see you there, Maggot. I'm not letting you get away with that. Not letting you make me walk all the way back. Here we go. I see you with your missile. I have no time for you and your missile. Heavy blood. Ooh, that's... This is a weapon I can get behind. We know how good blood weapons can be on loops, so definitely a big fan. Beautiful. Director Plasma Shotgun, though. Oh, baby. I don't know, the director part of it doesn't really speak to me, though. I'm still going to stick with this. Director weapons are great, but they don't always fit. Clearly the boss is about to spawn. Good old teleporty teleporty. Chill out game, chill out. Okay, so far I'm not taking too much damage. But I imagine the early like the early loops this is really good. In the late loops, not so much. Oh shit, I didn't see you there. Oh dude, I got venomed. Um 
Wait. Was it not this one that makes me immune to Venom? Resistant to Venom. Okay, not immune. I was going to say, because imagine if Venom just took you down to 1 HP. That'd be so funny. We've lost a bit more HP than I'd like to say, I'd like to admit now. Warm. Right on through. I, I just want to get to loop two. Why? Uh, my rage is uh, counting up when I spawn in. That's kind of nice. I kind of forgot I had rage, to be honest. I saw a lot of sniper bolts coming towards me there. I'm not particularly happy about that. We good to go. Sucker Puncher. Oh, I've used that before. Skull Breaker. Honestly, the Blood Shotgun's just too good, though. Right, who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? So many policia. I could survive a van running over me at the moment. That'd be kind of funny to do. I don't want to do that, but I could. That. This is a blood weapon, and this is a tight corridor. I thought it'd be a good idea to just use that to blast my way through. Do you know, this would be really good with the, like, every fourth hit you negate damage. Anything that negates damage, this health thing would be really good with, to be honest. Can the snipers stop getting involved? Getting a little annoying. That bit cracking on there. Lovely. We're at 35 HP now. Purple Dragon. I forget that spawning my minions costs ammo now as well, so... I can just kind of throw those out. Not as big of a deal anymore. Although, to be honest, I don't really think they're going to survive long, so it's not that worthwhile to do. Oh god. Oh no. We are very out of ammo. Yeah, we are burned. We are burned. We really ran out of ammo there. Big style. I need a melee weapon. And I need one stat. Am I going to make it through loop with this amount of HP left? Probably not. Get a blaster. Eh, get a blaster's good. I need a better weapon other than this. Nah. Go through there. I'm through now. Whatever. Super lightning crossbow could be fun. Weird how this lightning crossbow uses normal ammo, but the other lightning crossbow uses energy ammo. That must be an oversight. I swear the other lightning crossbow uses energy ammo. Okay. 15 health left. Fifteen health and a dream. 
Dude, that has got a lot of health. Ah, oh, bollocks. I don't know if it was you already. Although, actually, it's a small space. This, this, this tennis ball thing should wreck you. Not as quickly as I'd have hoped. Not as quickly as I'd have hoped. Oh, my God. Nine health. Six health. It's not enough. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I've got so far to go before loop. Although, so as fun as this weapon is, it's not actually that good. <laughs> yeah, we on one health, baby. Blint a minigun. Give it a go. He uses uh, normal bullet ammo as well. Interesting. Double energy lens. That not it? Like, what the hell's left? There's just so much purple all the time. Also, this thing's not very good. Eh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't fill me with confidence is all. Especially with Big Bat about the place. Oh my god. So you're saying there's a chance. Super Flugger. Please, please go away. Please go away, bullet. As I need that ammo. Oh, why didn't you just open Super Lance? That's a melee weapon. Unfortunately, goodbye, because Superlands could save us here. The fire rate alone is very saucy. Triangle bullets need to leave me alone, please. Dude, the super lens. The range on this thing. Please, triangle bullets. Leave me alone. Roll out the boom. This is going to kill me, isn't it? But i got to try it. Oh, that's cool. I've still got to survive the actual throne yet without taking any damage, which, I'll be honest, doesn't seem likely. Cracking on this bad boy. Box logger, two-headed dragon. Oh, that's cool. I think we're best off with this, to be honest. I doubt we're going to survive. We just got to use this thing the entire time and hope for the best. It does a lot of damage, to be honest. I just don't like it pulling me forward like this. Scaring me. What? what? <laughs> I don't even know what killed me then. 
I seem to die to the explosion from this, but I was stood there. I was stood well enough away. Either way, that was a fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.